Hi friends, it is the British way. It's the American way. Derek, I planned a three and a half hour fireworks spectacular. You got a minute and a half. Ooh, I'm Kevin. <laughs> and we're here at Disneyland today for a little summer video. Um, we are starting a new series and this is the battle of the theme park foods. Today, because it's right around the 4th of July, we're focusing on that quintessential summer classic, the hot dog. And we will be doing the battle of the Disney hot dogs today. It's a different kind of Franco-American war, really. Sure. A wiener war, if you will. If you will. Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't. You won't. You shouldn't and don't search for it. Uh, but we are going to be covering six different Disney hot dogs today. It's a lot today. of hot dogs. It's a lot of hot dogs. It's probably too many hot dogs. Oh. And you may notice hot dog fatigue as the video goes on. Um, but we're going to check out a bunch of stuff throughout the parks today. Um, we're going to see which hot dog here at Disney reigns supreme. And join us as we go Beyond, Beyond the, the Turnstile. Turn All right, so to kick off our Battle of the Disney Hot Dogs, we're going to be going to, I think, probably the most iconic hot dog spot in all of Disneyland. Toronto Roasters. It's a great point. Maybe my iconic statement was wrong. Uh, but we're going to be heading to Quick Stop on Main Street. I wonder if you can guess where we are. Corner, which I always call Casey's Corner because I have Walt Disney World brain sometimes. Refreshment Corner is located at the very end of Main Street. It's right next to Jolly Holiday. This is where you can get all your Disney hot dogs. They have a mac and cheese hot dog here that's really great. They also have bread bowls with chili and macaroni and cheese. Very, very popular. A great uh, fireworks meal slash snack if you're a person who likes to have a little bit of food during fireworks. But this is sort of, I would say, like the quintessential Main Street stop. Okay, so we have gotten the esquite, is that right? Yeah, yeah the esquite hot dog. This has corn chips, uh, cojita cheese, chipotle mayo, cilantro, a hot dog, and then a bun. Um, this is $11.99. They um, have this... I think year round. Originally, they introduced it for Coco um, to celebrate the the release of the Coco film, but now it seems to be here all the time. So let's give it a try. So I think they got a good grip on it. Let's see. Sensor, blow this out. Hmm. That's really, really good. Um, I think there's like corn chips or something in there too, which I didn't know were in there. Um, so it's got like a crunchy element. This has got a ton of flavor, um, a little bit of heat to it from the chipotle mayo, but not so much that I would say like anyone should worry about it. It's pretty mild. Um, all in all, I really like this. I think for me on an e-ticket scale, <laughs> It's probably a D ticket, but it might it might be an E by the end of the day, depending on what the other hot dogs taste like. So I think all in all, pretty good. I like it a lot. Okay, so pretty good start to the Disney dog battle. Yeah. Gotta yeah. say. Gotta say. So we're I think gonna make a little pit stop, go on a little attraction before our next hot dog. A, a small attraction, one might say. A a very small attraction. After all, after all.
Right, so it makes sense that going from the oldest hot dog place at Disney, we're now going to the newest. That's right, we're gonna have a teen-tastic time. Pro tip, get cuties instead of chips. That way you have a snack for later. <laughs> you do an unboxing? Yeah. All right, so here is, oh, if I can get it open. The dressed up Daisy Dog. It has chili, macaroni and cheese, kettle chips, and this longer than it probably should be, uh, I'll be Frank in a little bun, which is fun. Love that for her. So I cut a little bit of the Frank off because we're we're a wholesome family channel here. Um, but I wanted to make sure I got a bite with everything on it. So, oh. the chili is pretty good. I understand why they sell that on its own. I think there's a little too much going on with the hot dog, frankly. The hot dog's a little full, um, which would be great, but I'm also having to like fight through macaroni and cheese and chips. Um, this is probably a thing that like teenagers love. And teenagers are or about children. It. Or children. Um, it's a little big for children, I don't know. Um, for me, I give this like a C ticket. Like it's fine. I sort of lose some of the flavors, but it would keep me full for the whole day if that was the point. So in terms of your ranking so far, this would not be the esquite dog. No, no. So far, the Esquite Dog is still the champion. All right. All right. So now that we've enjoyed ourselves, we've had a little hot dog snack. Yeah. We're going to... Run away. Do... Run away. Yeah, run, run away. Run away. Railway. Come on. Boop. So saw this super cute sign here in the gift shop outside of Runaway Railway. It says rules for playing with model trains. Always shout choo choo when pretending to pull a model, uh, pretending to pull a train whistle. Never crash trains. Always lie on the floor for a better view of oncoming model trains. And then the best one, never leave tiny model train parts on the floor for barefoot dad to step on. I think dads across the world really appreciate that. 
Okay, I love that ride. It's such a good attraction. I'm so glad it's here now too, instead of just in Florida. I was when we left. I was sad when we left Florida. Yeah, yeah. My favorite part is trying to find where Pluto is in each scene. Um, I have never seen him in the water scene, but Kevin pointed at him out this time for the first time. That's right. Pretty cool. That's right. We oh yeah. No, I got. We're, we're going oh, again. oh, we got and we got little snacks. Yeah, so every time we've come here, the power lines have been sold out. Um, so we're excited. To try these. We're gonna we're gonna see eye to eye on buying these. Uh, I love it. All right, so we're on to our next hot dog destination. Yeah, it's it's sauerkraut o'clock. I don't know how I feel about it. But... Oh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of sauerkraut, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna see how it goes. Um, I'm doing okay on the stamina so far. Yeah. I think because we're sharing the hot dogs, I haven't um, wanted to die. Wanted to die yet. Yeah, but, sure. you know, there's still time. There, we're only two into six. Come on, let's go to Edelweiss. Yeah. So we are at Edelweiss Snacks. This is right across from the Matterhorn. Well known for its turkey legs, chimichangas, and apparently bratwurst. Um, and then there's this great little seating area back here. This is where the gummy bear boat ride used to be. Um, but now... For huh? For a hot second. For a hot second, yeah. Uh, but now it is just seating area. I remember coming here in the 90s, and um, my brother entered a pog tournament here. And Disney was giving out free slammers. That so, sounds like the 90s. Uh, aging myself for people watching. But still, you know, whatever. Um, all right, so opening this up here. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, magic. That's great. So it's, now we get a, a reveal. Okay, there it is. So the sausage part of this looks a little bit better than the other hot dogs. I think that that's probably a positive. Um, and then they did give us the sauerkraut on the side. I don't know if I want to eat this. I'll try some of it on there. You're going to try it? I'll okay, because I am I historically don't really like this. But, um, all right, let's give this a go. Probably would be better with mustard, but that's okay. I need to get mustard. Uh-oh. Hmm. Hmm. That's really good. That's um, The sausage has a really nice snap to it ton of great flavor. This is better than I would say like most of the just traditional hot dogs here in the park. Um, I would say if you're looking for something simple, um, this is this is good. It's got, so the traditional bratwurst here, and then I think this is like a cheddar chive bun that comes with it, which adds a little bit of extra flavor. All in all, I'd say pretty solid. For me, I this is a, this is a C ticket. Um, just because it's a little simple, but the flavor is really good. If you love brats, this is, I think you'll be very happy with this. All right. So you're going to put some of this on there. Yeah. That's a commitment. Yeah. Sauerkraut is pickled cabbage? Yeah. Yeah. Not as bad as I expected. No. No. It's not as vinegary. Okay. As a little sauerkraut. It's actually kind of sweet um, on its own. Yeah, it's more sweet than anything. I think it pairs really nicely with this, and the bun helps in the sauerkraut. I would still say probably seat ticket with you, even with the sauerkraut. Um, but I think this does, for me, edge out the daisy dog. Okay. We're full of our third hot dog. And so I think it's time for a little nap ride. You know what I mean? Yeah, sounds good. So we're gonna head over into Adventureland and see if our personal favorite nap ride is still available. Okay, so Mark Twain, classic map ride. Not from Adventureland, from Frontierland, or technically Rivers of America, but whatever. Who's, count, who's counting? You are, probably. Um, <laughs> so now we're going to head over to DCA for our next hot dog. Hot dog number four, for those of you keeping score. 
four. So this is the bacon dog from Award Wieners. Um, it's beef frank with peppers, bacon, um, and pepper ketchup, which is very exciting on like a hoagie style uh, bun. So with film strip fries, with film strip fries, because we already have cuties in the bag. I don't want people to think we have scurvy by having too many oranges. So oh god, okay, so it's already devolving. Mm. A little bit of heat from that ketchup and from the peppers. So far, this has been the easiest one to eat, like on a whole bite. I think this is a solid D ticket. I think this is solid. It's a little messy for me. And I know that on another bite, this bun is just going to devolve. But it's not a tough hot dog like the Cafe Daisy one. I can get everything in one bite. Um, pretty good, I think. Yeah, D ticket, solid. Okay, so I had mixed feelings about that hot dog. We'll talk about it in our end of video recap. But um, we did we did pull out the cuties from Toontown um, <laughs> because we're starting to miss vegetables and fruits and things. This is a little this is a lot of a lot of processed this, meat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our, Twelve minutes until show time. Oh, nice. I'll show you time. Should we do fill our magic after this? Mm, sure. That was an, an uncertain voice. But um, yeah, I think my bloodstream is full of nitrates for sure. And sauerkraut. Well, mine's full of sauerkraut. Just yours. I'm not. I'm still full of sweet kraut. Get Turn it? off the camera. Get out of here. Okay. say as an arts executive I would fire Goofy in a heartbeat if he were my stage manager. I think his heart's in the right place. Here's we're gonna go watch Full Heart Magic, obviously. But a little, little inside story. Sitting in award winners filming our review. And um couple was breaking up. I don't know why this happens to me. This Pride night today I don't Oh, yeah, this is the third time that we've been in Disneyland in probably as many weeks and been sitting next to a couple that's breaking up. But, but she was, like, she, loud she was, about it. Yeah, she was very loud. To the other tables next to us and I, like, our table, we were, like, together in force about scolding this woman from afar. <laughs> well, at first, because we just were like, wow, this person's, like, yelling. Like, kind of. A lot of well, bad be, words. Be mindful of other people, because she also seemed a little drunk. She was a little drunk. But, um... You know, I will just say, maybe, maybe, break up in the parking lot. Listen, if you're, pro tip, if you're coming to Disneyland to break up, don't do that. Don't do that. Too expensive. To go to the beach. That That's Panera behavior. Go to Olive Garden when you're here yeah. your family, except for the two of us. Like, yeah. that's, yeah. don't do not do it at award wieners. And if you're going to do it at Disneyland, don't do it at a restaurant with a funny name. Yeah. Do it at yeah. the Grand Craftsman Grill. At your Disney. story, when you talk to your friends, is I'm going to, we broke up and it was at award wieners. Yeah, while well, like, eating filled strip fries. Like, girl, girl. Have some respect. Girl. Complete. 
wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? I can show you the world, take you wonder by wonder. Very cute attraction. Phil Harmantrical. Always a good time. I think it's incorrect to call it Mickey's Phil Harmagic. It's definitely Donald's Phil Harmagic. It's definitely Donald's Phil Harmagic. Yeah, but the alliteration gets ruined if you do that. It's true. It's true. Well, we still have dose. Two, Two more hot dogs. Um, so we're going to make our way over to Pixar Pier for our next one. Might do an attraction on the way. I think we need a few more rides on this day. Um, maybe do a little shopping. Let's go. We're going to head into Knickknacks and see if they have anything new for Elemental. So let's check it out. Gosh, these ears are so cute. Love that. So cute. All the um, the merch with the fire girl. I'm sorry, I don't know her name yet, but it has this gold fleck on it. That's really cool. <laughs> seen this Buzz Lightyear shirt before. I do like this. Is it cropped though? I feel like they do a lot of like gender neutral but cropped. Is today the day, Kevin, that you you buy the summer button up? No. Maybe. Those are the day we buy Leota. Summer <laughs> toys. toys. No. We decided we had to do Incredicoaster. It seems like every time we're here, we do. Yeah, I think for me, it's like, did you really have a complete day at California Adventure if you didn't go on Incredicoaster? It's probably how some people feel about Guardians or Soarin' but, or Radiator Springs or Hot Dogs. Or Hot Dogs. All right. Uh, you coaster know? Incredit. Yeah, we incredited the coaster. Um, I did, I did feel like maybe we had eaten four hot dogs, um, which We're I don't really to get number five, which I don't really get like nauseous on rides like that. So it was, uh, interesting, interesting. Um, and now it's time for number five, like Kevin said. So let's head over to Angry Dogs. Don't be a baby, a super baby. Not in the mood for this. Alright, so we got the Angry Dog from Angry Dogs. This uh, is a hot link. I added ketchup and mayonnaise. I know, internet. Screaming with terror. Um, and it comes with hot fries, Cheetos hot fries. So um, let's give it a try. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there it is. I was like, oh, it just tastes like a regular hot dog. 
it creeps up on you. It's got a nice little heat to it, but I wouldn't say, unless you're very sensitive to spice, that this is too spicy for you. I think it's got classic flavors, tastes like summertime. Um, for me, this is, this is also a C ticket. Totally good, very classic standby, nothing wrong with it, but you know, I don't think you have to have this. If you, if you love hot dogs, there's more exciting hot dogs here in the park. All right. I'm very full of hot dogs. We got one more to go, though. We do have one more to go. Um, so let's head out of the park. Yeah. Our last one is a downtown Disney dog. Let's and, see if it can hold up. Well, I mean, we should walk there. Maybe by then we'll have walked off one of the hot dogs. Then we can walk to the car and then die. I love... <laughs> I was going to say, I love the way your brain thinks that we're, we're going to walk off one of these five hot dogs we've consumed. But, um, well, let's go to downtown Disney. Let's go to downtown Disney. Come on, you two. You two. You two in there. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I've changed because it's been super hot, so it's time time to change the shirt. We are at our last hot dog, which is from Hot Tickety Dog here in downtown Disney. And it's probably the most basic of the hot dogs we've had today. Yeah, so this is an all beef hot dog. Um, I think this was like not, mustard. It was eight eight seventy five somewhere around there. We'll write it here, whatever it was. And um, we added spicy mustard to it. Um, let's see how it is. Okay. Oh, this is me. That's right. Classic hot dog. I think you can get much more interesting hot dogs inside. But if you were just like, listen, I need a Frank right now. You could go to Hot Diggy Dog and be fine about it. Um, I will say, this has the best construction of any of the hot dogs we have today. This isn't falling out of the barn and nothing is exploding out of it. Um, that being said, very ordinary, very seat ticket middle of the road. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see how it is. I'll try it too. Yeah, back, backyard, backyard barbecue vibes. Um, I think this is, I think Hot Diggity Dog is owned by the Wetzel's Pretzels Company. So if you like their pretzel dogs, like the hot dog that's in the pretzel dog, it tastes exactly like that. It's a little salty. Um, I mean, all hot dogs are salty, but this is maybe a little saltier for me. I'm going to say for me, this is a B ticket. So take that for what you will. Hello, welcome to my sunburn. <laughs> Mine too. Um, all right, so let's recap. We okay. did we did the Esquite hot dog at Refreshment Corner. We did. Followed by the uh, something Daisy dog. Yeah, the Daisy dog. We'll just say it's the Daisy this, dog. I'll put the right name. Right yeah. Name. Um, and then the bratwurst with sauerkraut at Ada yep. Weiss. Yep. Then we hopped over to DCA and we did um, bacon dog. the bacon dog at Award Wieners. Yep. And then we did an angry dog at the aptly named Angry Dog. Uh -huh. And then we did base, basic uh, hot, hot all dog. American beef to hot dog. Uh, Diggy Dog. Okay. So if you had to rank them, yeah. what would your ranking be? From the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom? But let's, let's end strong. So bottom to the top. Bottom to the top. Okay. So my least favorite that we had today was the all beef American hot dog from Diggity Dog. Okay. I feel like that's, I could have gone to Stater Brothers and made that. Okay. Myself. Okay. Um, then fifth place is probably the Daisy Dog. Okay. It had too much on it. The hot dog was too long. Okay. Um, but it was at least interesting. Sure. Um, and that was super fun. Um, in position number four, uh, 
probably the bacon dog from Award Wieners. Okay. Um, no, take that back. Ooh. I take it back, I take it back, I take it back. It's the uh, Angry Dog. Okay. From Angry Dogs. Because again, sort of a basic hot dog, but I liked the heat behind it. Sure. Um, I like the integrity. Number three is the Bacon Dog from Award Wieners. I liked all the stuff on it. The bun just sort of lacked integrity for me, but I would order that again. Um, number two was the Brat from Edelweiss, specifically with sauerkraut. I'm not a huge sauerkraut fan, but I thought this sauerkraut was great. It tastes like rye bread. It was on the sweeter side than on the um, vinegary side. And that leaves number one, the Esquite Hot Dog from Refreshment Corner. I thought that was inventive, ingenious. I liked the fresh corn with the sort of fried corn. Um, the cortija cheese is always really, really good. Um, it's, it's hard to eat, so get a knife and fork um, if you do eat it, but I thought that was my favorite. What about you? Okay. So for Start me, with cold dog and then up to hot for, dog. For, okay, so for the worst, I would put the bacon hot dog from Award Wieners at the bottom. Okay. Too many, too many peppers. I don't like green pepper. And that's really what I tasted. So I, that's a no for me. But I think most people will like it. I think I'm in the minority. And I want to say this is based on whether or not I'd order them again, not necessarily their quality, which is kind of a weird way to rank them. But that's, that's the way I'm doing it. So that and then... Daisy Dog would be next from there. Um, I think that was maybe not actually a very good hot dog. It has too much stuff on it. I don't really like that cheese queso that they put on top. Plus mixed with mac and cheese, there's just too much going on. It doesn't need Parmesan chips. I, I don't get it, I don't get it. But you know what? Some people that's, I'm not here to yuck any yums. It's just not for me. Um, next would be the Bratwurst. I thought was pretty good and the sausage was great I liked the roll it's not that exciting I don't know if I would say like go get the bratwurst but it it, it was of a good quality decidedly middle of the road um, then I would say the all-american beef hot dog from hot chickadee dog which is not like to say that it's amazing it's just very very easy to revisit like it, it's exactly what it says it is and it's not the most exciting but if you want a hot dog, that's probably what you're looking for. Um, then the Angry Dog. I put some of the uh, hot fries on top of that, and it was a total game changer. If you do go to Angry Dog, you should totally do that. It They should serve it that way. It, it was amazing. Um, and then that means my number one is the Esquite Dog from Refreshment Corner. That was killer. Like, easily one of the best hot dogs I've ever had in a Disney park. I'm with you. There was, like, a lot of good textures, a lot of great flavors. Um, Disney's very into elote here in um, Southern California, and uh, I thought it I thought it was great. Killer. Okay. Oh, i got to get my finger out of there. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So, you started with trash takes, but you ended with a good one. <laughs> um, the Esquite Hot Dog from Refreshing Corner is our number one. I'm going to put our power rankings here. Look at those. Those are delightful wow. and amazing and warm. Yes. One of those is wow. so much better than the other. Yeah, and it's, and it's probably the one on the left um, is well. going to be my guess. And then I'm just saying, like, Derek did his by reorderability. Yes. And, and, and I did mine based on sort of, like, uniqueness and what you can't really get anywhere else. And so, I would actually agree with that system for your ranking. Like, I would say, based on that qualifier, your ranking is totally correct. Uh, you see, as we get around to the right answer eventually. Um, and I just think that, you know, whatever you're looking to do, whenever you come here to the Disneyland Resort or to Disney California Adventure or to downtown Disney, um, you know, just know what you want from something. Do you want something really unique or do you want something that's comforting and familiar? Um, and hopefully this will help you out a little bit. So in the Battle of the Disney Dogs, it definitely goes to Refreshment Corner. That is the OG, it's the classic, and you can get new things there. So you should definitely go there if you're looking for a hot dog. Um, and I think that's it. We need- I can't do, I can't do any more food. We need to today. hydrate. Our sodium oh intake is probably through the roof. Ooh, through the roof, So, yeah. so many nitrates. Um, but we hope you enjoyed this video. We're gonna do more of these, so we'll do more food battles. You might go to multiple theme parks, not just Disney in the future. So if you want to see that content, if you like what we, we did here today, make sure that you like and subscribe. Uh, comment. Commenting really helps us out and it lets 
uh, YouTube show us more in the search engine. So we really appreciate any content, uh, comments that you want to give us. And until then, we're about to get on the tram and go be full dogs in the car on the right home. So. What? Oh, <laughs> okay. No, I love it. All right. Bye. Bye.